Hello, my name is Roberto. My TED Talk was The Price of Shame by Monica Lewinsky. I'm sure you heard the name Monica Lewinsky. We've been talking about her all day, so. She became the first story to ever break the internet when tapes were leaked confessing her love for the President of the United States, Bill Clinton. The tapes were plastered all over the internet, humiliating Monica on a global scale. She was labeled a whore, slut, tramp, etc. She was one of the first cases of what we call cyberbullying today. Broken to the core, Monica went publicly silent for about a decade. In her TED talk, she explained how she lost her will to live during that span of silence. By 2010, technology and social media was revolutionizing. People had a lot more ways to connect and share through the internet. Of course, this also meant that the suicidal rate went up. Monica mentioned a boy named Tyler Clementi, who had a video of him leaked uh, intimate with another man. He was ridiculed and harassed, same as Monica, she related. A few days later, he jumped off a bridge to his death. It took her back to a time when her mother constantly monitored her, monitored her to prevent her of anything such. It makes you think of how much of a toll words can take on people. The long-term effects it gives to people through a cultural and social lens, this kind of behavior is unethical, yet it continues to happen all over the world on a daily basis. Monica's purpose was to spread awareness that this happens more frequently than it should. It explains how she was once broken. She was once broken and how she was able to rebuild herself over time. Instead of being a laughing stock, she decided to do something good in the world to help others in similar situations she went through. She wanted to get a master's in social psychology and earn the title of a sociologist. Do I believe this speech is biased? A little. Her argument is supported by details of her past experiences and examples of how social media negatively affects lives. But nothing was said about the positives of social media. Overall, I believe that she, what she's doing is great and that she might in fact change lives herself. Take a listen to this clip. Saving myself. Anyone who is suffering from shame and public humiliation needs to know one thing. You can survive it. Uh, so what she's saying is that uh, everybody goes through it, some, some more than others. All you gotta do is just take care of yourself and push through, you can do it. Thanks for listening.